name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. 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 I confess to our God, God, and to my brothers and sisters, that I am greatly sinned, and in my thoughts and in my words I have not been He shall not fear. 
till he looks down upon his foes. The heart of the just one is firm, trusting in the Lord. Lavishly he gives to the poor. His generosity shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory. The heart of the just one is firm, trusting in the Lord. Please sing. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our hearts that we may, we may know what is the hope that belongs to his call. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Gospel according to Mark. Lord. Some Pharisees and Herodians were sent to Jesus to ensnare him in his speech. They came and said to him, Teacher, we know that you're a truthful man and that you are not concerned with anyone's opinion. You do not regard a person's status, but teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. Is it lawful to pay the, Caesar, the census tax to Caesar or not? Should we pay or should we not pay? Knowing their hypocrisy, he said to them, Why are you testing me? Bring me a denarius to look at. They brought one to him and he said to them, Whose image and inscription is this? They replied to him, Caesar's. So Jesus said to them, Repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, but to God what belongs to God. They were utterly amazed at him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, God, Jesus Christ. If you have any special prayers, offer them now in silence. As we thank God for this day, we thank God for his blessings, and we ask God to answer all our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, God of Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all the Holy Church. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, that we may celebrate worthily these mysteries, strenuously defended through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed Master, Martyr Justin, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, show us forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, 
and before your majesty without end we attain. Glory, glory, holy Lord, God of us, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Today I want to give you another quote from St. Justin the Martyr on the Holy Eucharist. He said, we call this food Eucharist, and no one is permitted to partake of it, except one who believes our teaching to be true, and is being washed in the washing, which is for the remission of sins and for regeneration, we call baptism, and is thereby living as Christ is enjoined. For not as common bread nor common drink do we receive the earth, but since Jesus Christ our Savior was made incarnate by the Word of God, and is both flesh and blood for our salvation, so too, as we have been taught, the food which has been made into the Eucharist by the Eucharistic prayer set down by him, and by the change of which our blood and flesh is nourished, is both the flesh and blood of that incarnated Jesus. We do not receive these as common bread and common drink. We have been taught that the food which is blessed by the prayer of his word, and from which our blood and flesh by transmutation are nourished, is the flesh and blood of that Jesus who has made flesh. You're indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy them for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church bread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Louis our Bishop, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. True Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Amen.
Christ who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Peace your very end. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter on my roof, but on the same word, my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternity. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Refreshed by heavenly food, we humbly implore you, O Lord. We may abide at all times in thanksgiving for the gifts we have received through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And the Almighty God bless you. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Go in peace and make disciples. Amen. Amen.